All right, so they just started right out the gates, and this game is already looking extremely nice, if you don't know who this, is I, Blake Trout, the PCBL commentator slash analyst of your PCBL 11, and we are here to watch and commentate live on the Mount Pyre Magnet Pools coached by Promo Pass versus the Sun, the, the Soul Rocks, and as we see a nice hit, a good old-fashioned skull hitting the Zonk, the Kecleon as a switch in after the failed eruption, critical hitting and killing Mega V Drill. It is what it is, I suppose. As we see and hope that Purple Pass can they make the big pull off and take down the ultimate heel of PCBL 11, BFO Sugar, I mean Ryan Ragus, I mean Nico. What was it again? The something Soul Rocks. I don't even remember anymore. Look at the knockoff on the dark. Getting a big 64%er against the all salt vest jelly. Kudra. The king. Or in this case, queen. So let's see. What's Pro Pass going to do? I don't really know uh, what Scout's plan is going to be. Most likely in my book, I either would probably just not switch out, but probably go for a really good hit or go for some type of setup with it. Um, if it's a salt vest, it's probably going to have a really decent stretch attack. Oh! I am the kill with the ice punch by Zunk the Kecleon. It is now six to four. Soul Rocks. Can Purple Pass find a way to get around this? Oh God, when I kind of look at it, literally half the team is weak to ice. That's not the best thing to have seen and happen, but it's already going towards uh, Nico's way right now. Not over yet. Uh, there's still more than enough time and chances here. You still got Weavile left over. Or uh, whatever the heck this is, an amorous tea. I have no idea what it does. Hopefully, we'll learn or notice. Hopefully, uh, Scout can make a move to make this work in their favor. Hopefully. And also, if you're hearing this beautiful background music, it's from the Radical Red Showdown, as you have your Gen 8 PLA Draft battle music, which I think is so freaking good that I love that we don't ever talk about it. I'm excited. I just really wanted to see how this goes. I mean, it's not the official battle of the week. I just really wanted to commentate this because I never get to commentate anything live and it just started so quickly because my computer's slow as balls. And it's okay if it's slow as balls. Hmm. I think by the looks of it, I'm seeing a Weavile coming out in the gates in the gut. I don't know what the plan is, but I am very scared. This Pokemon seems really set up with knockoff and ice punch. Uh, I mean, what can be done here? current uh is it going to go for a setup of some kind is it going to be the sword stand setup that's going to be knocking stuff out in one shot there's no guarantee i don't know what the plan is here um is it going to use close combat because i think it kind of gets that i don't remember if it does or doesn't i don't really know what scout's plan is goes with the knockoff still not enough to knock out the expert belt goes with the dream punch for getting the instant kill probably if it's not nope not sash it's probably either boots or something else and just like that, it's 3-0 to zero with Zonk getting two kills. Game is looking to be starting to become a complete blowout in this case. Uh, we're going to get our second 6-0 in general. We're all here. We're sending our energy. Come on. Send our energy over to Scout. Come on, Scout. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I am not being biased. I'm staying impartial. Go, Nico. I, I freaking don't want you to win. I, I really don't. I, I'm being that much of a hater. But you know what? We hating all day up in here. It's PCBL. Hashtag Haterade. Also, this program is brought to you by DiGiorno Croissant. Now, I just had some for dinner. That's the reason why I really liked it. It's, it's delicious. Buy some. They ain't paying me money for this. Okay, it's okay. It's all working out. I don't really know what else is there to do because literally Kecleon is becoming a massive problem. I'm like, what's the game plan? Come on, give me something. Give me something. Anything. It can't be like this. I don't remember what the team name is. It's something Soul Rock. Goes into Peanut, the Quagsire, probably going to switch into maybe, I suppose. Yeah, probably going to go into Slow King, most likely. It's a pretty decent chance. 
Uh, really good switching option. Goes into Tornado's T. Goes for the fail. What? Protect. Uh, okay. Dementia Strump. Wow, that's that's a name. Uh, right now, he goes into Driver's T. I, I don't really know what the plan might be. Staff got staff got to figure out a way to get this out. They gotta they gotta figure something out. Probably start putting up those toxics. Uh, Nico doesn't have any clerics. Hurricane, man, you gotta hope for that to miss. <laughs> I hope it missed. But here we go. By the looks of it, it might be getting nutty, might be getting crazy. Can Pina pull off a miracle? Can this happen our way? Get this dementia strong off the screen! Skadooskadeen, get that BS off my screen. Six to three currently. Uh, the Soul Rocks are beating the Mount Pyre Magnet Poles. Seriously, what is the S in it? Something Soul Rocks. I can't even remember anymore. I have a phone that can help me figure this out. Oh, the Hurricane Miss going for the Skull, getting the burn, and the burn is secured! Let's go! Already said a good game. Going into the slow king, the BFO fatty. Going for the skull. Can we get another burn? Nope, no burn. Ah. Starting to get real good. Woo wee. Trying to find something here. I looked at it. Score now. Six to three. Going into. Slow King. Oh, it's a Saffron Soul Rocks. Okay. Going for the Earthquake with Future Sight? Ooh, you're making big plays, aren't you, Nico? All right, so we're already in a really fun spot right now. Peanut's doing all that he can to win for the Mount Pyre Magnet Pool. A, a consistent, consistent team veteran. Consistent, that's not even a word. But it's cool, it don't even matter. Watch this comeback. Oh man, this is getting intense. I mean, I don't even know what the next moves are. Uh, it's already got future sites set up, so I'm thinking that maybe it's got slack off, of course. Uh, something else, maybe? Right now, the game is completely in those hands. Goes for teleport! Probably gonna go teleport right into, uh, I, I guess, Tornado's T. It makes too much sense not to. Masquer- No! Not Masquerade! Anything but Masquerade! Oh, no, no, no. It's gonna be that stupid- uh, oh no, I already know how this is gonna go. Going to Glass Core, he's gonna go for the Quiver Dance setup and then get hit with the Future Sight for a little bit of extra damage, doing 46% with a Toxic Poison. Oh, I know how this is gonna end out now. Cause I don't know if, can Air Slash cause a flinch? Nope, Roost, ooh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Go over to Air Slash and hope for to get a flinch. Get the flinch! Oh! Masquerade trying to do everything that they can to get this W. What setup do you have? Air Slash can to get the poor flinch. Goes for the roots again, keeping it going. It is now at 87%, 88% from the poison heal. Goes for another quiver dance, can he get the rocks off? Rock slide, and it's a death! Let's go! That is a kill for the Mount Pyre Magnet Pulls. Ah, oh, this is good. Woo wee! And just like that, it's a game. It's a battle. It's a battle now. Currently five to three with the Saffron Soul Rocks in the lead. Going for the triple axle, doing the five. Missing, oh no, that's not enough. Not enough to win this game right now. Triple axle, that's actually advanced. Let's see here, going into Addison, the Megalophony. Can Nico put this game away? Going for the U-turn, going to switch right back into the slow kick. No, Tornado's T. Going for the Skull, doing 22% damage with the heal. 
Ooh, this is good. good. Skull Protect Earthquake. So I guess uh, the last move Scout put up was Toxic, maybe. But I might be wrong. It could be Ice Beam or something crazy. Going for the Protect. Going for the U-Turn. That's not going to be enough. Going to get some extra damage to roll off, but it's eh, still going to be a fresh heal. Most likely going to switch out into Slow King again. That's also Regenerator? Jeez, you got a Regen Core? Oh, that's just disgusting. What the heck does, does the Enamorous T even do? Oh, actually, you're not that. Hey, get the 32% right there. It probably has slack off, though. But your speed's terrible. Well, it has slightly better speed, so I don't know. Maybe... Nope, goes right into Tornado's T. Going for the Earthquake with a miss. Ah, it, just like that, the game is back in control for uh, Robo Pass. It's, it's pretty good right now. I'm going to go for the Hurricane. Misses another one. And just like that, 13 Hurricanes left for it. Gets the hit. Does 65%. Going for the Skull to do 25. Heals up. Goes in. Probably going to take the miss. 65%. Oh, it's nuts. I mean, once Peanut's gone, this game... It's not like the game's over yet, but it's just a triple axel guarantee. Misses the Hurricane! And that is what we like to see. Uh, probably going to switch back out into Addison, expecting the Rock Slide. What setup moves does it have? It has Roost, Rock Slide, probably Earthquake. Or, gonna expect that and then switch right back out over into Peanut. Which is the safe idea. Problem is now, it's like I have no idea how fast. Oh no, Tornadus T is like 210. That's slow. Enamorous. Not Tornadus. Enamorous. Huh. Enamorous slow as H. What does it even do? Probably maybe a thick girl. That was about 39%. Misses the rock slide! Oh, that is unfortunate! That's when we switch into Megalopony. Going for the Roost. Uh, that's all that can be done. Going to Quagsire for the switch in. Going for the Triple Axle. Doing 6, 9, and 16. Uh, that might be a wrap. Going for the Protect as it goes for close combat. Oh, that's crazy. Going right in there, Namor's team is probably going to go for the close combat. Eats it all the way up. 9% of damage with the Rocky Helmet boost. What else can be done? I'm at that odd point knowing that once, um... If Addison could just go, then Scout wins. Or no, Scout doesn't... Well, Scout kind of wins. Because all that's left is, like, BFO Fatty with Future Sight and Teleport. It might not even have uh, Slack Off. I don't even think it gets Slack Off. One, nine. Oh! That was a crit! And Goji survives just a little bit longer! And just like that, the score is nearly tied! Four to three! Going into Hisui and Typhlosion. Blaze the Messiah. I freaking love that name. Four to three. Whew. This game is so good and intense. Is a possible comeback happening? Ooh, this game is so good! Right here enjoying right now, Magnapools versus the... The, uh... I don't even know what their name is. <laughs> the Saffron Soul Rocks. This game was looking to be a... Complete one-sided victory for Nico and the Scout is crawling back and taking the win for themselves. And I'm very proud right now. I am proud. I am enjoying this. This is such a good game. The complete turnaround, getting rid of Addison and a possible sweet chance finisher for Masquerade. So this game is nowhere near over yet. Goes for the eruption. Uh that sucks. I don't think there's any better way for this to go. Oh, this might be it. I don't know how much, uh... Is it Scarfed? It's either Scarfed or Specs Eruption. I have no idea if that's gonna be... That's a wrap. I think speed stays the same in this. Yeah, it stays the same. Wait. Oh, no, it's not 100 speed. That does about 43%. Goes for the Rock Slide? Alright, that's actually good. Uh, at this point, I just heal up. Only the Slow King. Going for the Roost. 
Oh, if you're water absorbed, that'd be so funny. I say switching to peanut just to see what happens. Only the quag sire. Oh, future sight instead. Okay. Do you have recover? Skull protect earthquake. I don't even know what your last move is. You do. Okay, you're still in this game. This game is just... Mm, so it's 95 speed. Wait, do you have coverage? Why Blaze Messiah? Huh. I just don't even know at this point. So you do have Regenerator. That's cool. Or I'm wrong. What do you got? Shadow Ball. Oh, that did so much damage. Didn't go for Earthquake, but went for Rock Slide instead, so I have no idea what the rest of your moveset is. And your speed! I don't know, it's the same. That did so much damage. 66%. Uh. Shoot, at this point, I'm like, I don't even know what the one to protect was. She could have went for the Skull to just get rid of the Blind Blade Messiah, but it is what it is. I, I guess either the reason it would come in would have probably like Energy Ball as coverage. I don't remember ever, ever getting that. Shadow Ball makes more sense. Pretty decent stab. Uh, for the sake of move sets. I mean, it's weakened to the point where Eruption's useless. So it's going to probably just keep going for Shadow Ball. Just losing Gudra really early did hurt. And switching in or staying into B Drill. Because, I mean, it's Scarf. So it makes sense. Does about 34%. So, yeah, you are definitely specially based. And most likely going to switch out into... Dementia Strong. I mean, at this point, I don't even mind an Earthquake hitting or missing. Doesn't even do close to enough. So yeah, you are, uh... Goes for Future Sight instead. Get the Toxic off, which actually matters a lot. Going into Quagsire was not the best move. Because, I mean, at that point, you're just going to teleport into... Dementia Strong or something. Or... Zonk. Because I think that... Oh, nope. Survives. I just don't see the point. See, that's like... It goes past the Protect. And unless you're setting up to go for Earthquake, you know that it's going to be a switch into Dementia Strong. So going for, like, Rock Slide is a better move. See? But I mean, at that point, uh... I think you can still probably win this. Goes for U-Turn... We don't know into what, into Slow King, going for the Rock Slide, doing that 17. Probably has Scald somewhere in the back. But I guess was worried about the uh, Scald, or not even Scald, worried, worried about the Water Absorb. Bruce fails, goes for Future Sight again. Again, I'm like thinking, what was the point of Bruce here? I don't get the point. Play this game way too safe here. Uh, does an earthquake kill you in one shot? That's what matters here. Is it really weird that Scout could just come up and just win this entirely? I don't know, fam. I don't know what the move here is, but let's see what happens. Earthquake can completely one-shot this thing, I'd be very, very proud. I think it's probably going to be like max HP, max attack. But, uh, extra build has been knocked off, so... I swear, that had to have been a misclick. Trick Room! Oh! That's crazy! Dang! I don't even know what to say to this. That came up out of nowhere. Dang, bro. Trick room to end it all. That is so nutty. So we all sent our energy to Scout, but apparently Nico was jeering. Oh, well. Uh, but dang, I thought Scout was bringing it back. Uh, like They were making the heat moves going like, Oh, I ain't going out like that. Smack and smack and was coming back. Uh, a few blades did kind of make, 
a lot of questions. I didn't really understand the straight up roost, uh, knowing that you got the complete outspeed on this on turn 45. I was confused by that. Otherwise, it was just a lot of super safe gameplay. But uh, I don't know, like, you could have effed around and definitely make a weird comeback happen. Ah, it was just so close. It's just one of those things where you make a really rough bet and things just don't work out. It's just like the Kenneth and Broski battle. But uh, it wasn't like that all the time. It's just like the first couple of losses of the mods was just like, wow, that just happened. And I mean, this was a scarf to Heatwind Typhlosion. And apparently this Typhlosion only has 95 base speed. So I didn't know that. So thanks for watching this complete disaster of a commentary. Because I wasn't even trying to be like professional. I was, I was picking favorites. I wanted Scout to win. But it's, it's whatever. So thanks for watching. See y'all next time with Battle of the Week.